the acceleration of a particle is given as 2x plus 5 and it's also said that the particle's velocity is 3 centimeter per second when it is at origin so when x is equal to 0 now we need to find the velocity express uh, find a, an expression for the velocity in terms of displacement so let's see how we can do it acceleration is given so acceleration means d square x dt square so second derivative of displacement 2x plus 5 now we need something where we have velocity and displacement uh, not time so we need to get rid of the time here so let's see if we can what we can do with it we can write it like this dx over dt so let's first see what we can do with this one just this part okay so we can write that now this is v so this is dtv or we can write it dv over dt now we need to bring dx so we can write it dv over dt we can write dv over dx and then dx over dt this much we can do now dx over dt here this is velocity so this one becomes dv over dx which was there dv over dx and this is velocity so this part is velocity so dv over dx times velocity so we have velocity here now what we can write about the velocity in terms of dv v we can this one we can actually write differentiation half v square if we do that if this is v square half v square if half v square is differentiated it becomes v differentiated with respect to v so this whole thing is actually v so we are doing it so that we can get rid of the dv and we can express in terms of dx so this one can be written now we can write like that dv and then half v square instead of v we have written this whole thing so here dv and dv this it gets cancelled so this one we can write like that so now we have something where the we have dv over dx but it's actually half v square but a function of v with respect to dx differentiation of function of v with respect to dx so now we go back to this one uh, this is our dx squared so we have written it like that d dx half v square this is the acceleration because we started with this one and we finally got this one so this is now 2x plus 5 and we can write like that so if I diff integrate both sides rather because we are getting rid of the dx so it becomes 2x plus 5 on the right hand side it's integration on the left hand side the differentiation is gone because it's integrated on both sides with respect to when the variable is dx so now we diff integrate this part it becomes 2x square over 2 plus 5x plus c and this stays half v square so this is x square plus 5x plus c and this is half v square now the boundary condition that was given is when the particle was at uh, origin the velocity is 3 centimeter per second so when x is equal to 0 velocity is 3 centimeters so 3 square and this is 0 this is 0 c so c becomes 9 over 2 so now we have the function half v square and then 2 uh, x square plus 5x x square plus 5x plus 9 over 2 now we need we want to get rid of the 2 in the denominator so multiply both sides by 2 this becomes 2x square plus 10x plus 9 so v we need to find v in terms of displacement so this is the expression so this is a bit different kind the we started with the thing that was given to us is the acceleration uh, in terms of displacement and we uh, manipulated the expre 
acceleration function which is a dx squared d over dt and we got something like this one so that we had velocity the function of velocity differentiated with respect to dx and then we could find the find the expression for velocity in terms of displacement so this is a one kind of problem that we may find so i will do few more of these so